Do you guys know the hardest thing about the zombie apocalypse? Do you know what the absolute hardest thing about the zombie apocalypse is? Anybody? The hardest thing about the zombie apocalypse is pretending you're not excited. Today on Daily Vice. With the unprecedented popularity of shows like The Walking Dead, post-apocalypse survival has become a cultural obsession, including real-life training camps. Vice spent a weekend at a camp in New Jersey training to survive the zombie apocalypse and meeting the people who are preparing for the end of the world. I'm Kim Taylor Bennett, and this is Daily Vice. Come on! Faster! Faster! I'm in the Pine Barrens in New Jersey, and I'm about to take part in this zombie apocalypse training camp. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but hopefully when the day is done, I'll be able to take on an army of the undead. Mark Skelza and his wife Suzanne have been running the zombie apocalypse camp for the past eight years. By day, Mark is a firearms sales manager, while Suzanne works in disaster preparedness insurance. Together they run this camp with their son Sam, a bladed weapons enthusiast, and Jonas Sherman, a hand-to-hand -hand combat expert. When we started the camp, it was before The Walking Dead, it was before Zombieland the movie, it was before a lot of those things that kind of introduced zombie to the mainstream. For a few weekends every summer, they bring groups of 10 to 20 people out to the woods of New Jersey for full-day training sessions of Survival 101. I didn't get any hardcore prepper vibes from any of the participants. On this weekend, the group was mostly made up of Walking Dead fans who had gotten the training as a gift, and people just eager to shoot some guns. We get a huge range of people. We've had 75-year-old um, grandmothers, and we've had 15-year-old kids, so and everybody in between. Three, two, one, go! When we started the camp, most of what we got were people that were die-hard zombie fans. I mean, absolutely convinced that there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. We've seen a big change in who's coming. Now it's more people that are concerned about the government, they're concerned about the environment, they're concerned about more of a natural or a political type event that could occur that could really take society down to a base level. And it's not just people who are coming to Mark and Suzanne's camp that are concerned about the apocalypse. In fact, nearly a quarter of Americans believe that they'll see the end of the world in their lifetime. Damn. Jesus, Tom. <laughs> Killing it. You're telling me, you drove down from New Hampshire. Yeah. Five hours? Five and a half. What were you looking at? Apocalypse training? Yeah. Really? Literally what you were like, looking at. Really? Yeah. So what is it about post-apocalyptic stuff and zombie stories that really grabs you? I watch The Walking Dead. I also read The Walking Dead comics. Everybody's like, you know, what if a zombie apocalypse did happen? You know, it would be great to, you know, experience something like that. There's an adrenaline rush that comes with it. Um, you know, the, the fear, you know, it gets your heart racing. It's one of those situations you can't control it. So in a crisis situation, the first thing that breaks down is communication. The second thing that breaks down is food supply. That's why the grocery stores are wiped out. Do you know the average house in this country has four days worth of food in it? That's it. I feel like I gotta get prepped. Like, how much water do I have in my house? None. How much food? Like, he said everyone's got four days of food. I don't have four days of food. I got four days of cat food. It's amazing how fast society could totally come to a, a halt if something really disrupted the supply chain. You ready? Pull the trigger. So does it wear on you at all to like be constantly surrounded by these disaster scenarios and be thinking about what possibly could happen? Yeah, I think it's a little negative to think all the time about what you need to do to prepare for what could happen. You know, I don't want to sit here and keep talking about what's going to happen at the end of the world. But on the flip side of that, I feel very empowered because I know I am prepared. Though most participants that I spoke to that day were just there for fun, it also motivated some of them to continue their survivalist training education. It's made me want to do more training. It's made me, you know, want to go out and purchase more things for defense. I've had an interest in guns, so it's something that, you know, maybe picking the gun that works best for me and going from there, maybe purchasing one. So I definitely will uh, take some of the things I've learned here and some experiences and, and go on with that. I tease everybody all the time that there's a line and one side's paranoia and the other side's being prepared and I kind of dance on both sides <laughs> of it. I like to think that maybe everything I'm learning I'll never need, but you know, maybe someday I will. I don't know. Do I think a zombie apocalypse will really happen? I'll be prepared if I does. Thank you everybody. Thank you.